Hello everyone, my name is Sean McRishtard and I'm an assistant professor of Irish here in Dublin City University. Firstly, I want to apologise that I couldn't be with you today live due to teaching commitments, but I'm grateful that you're taking the time to look at this pre-recorded talk entitled Reflections on Asynchronous Video Assessment. This collaborative research project was conducted by Rob Lenny from the Teaching Enhancement Unit in DCU, along with myself and two of my colleagues, Dr. Garadini Lailish and Dr. Um, Aideen Niwerkatig from Fionter Akaskol Nguelga here at the University. First, I just want to give a bit of background. One of our main responsibilities in the School of Irish is the provision of Irish language modules on the Bachelor of Education programmes at both primary and post-primary level here at the University. There are approximately 1,760 students undertaking initial teacher education at both these levels in DCU. As we are focusing on language instruction, providing students with authentic and real spaces to practice their target language is a priority of ours. In order to facilitate this and to, to facilitate the teaching and learning of Irish, students are broken up into smaller groups of around 18 and have weekly language seminars with their lecturers and teaching assistants. Before the pivot to the online delivery of the language modules in 2020, our summative assessments focused primarily on written competencies with an interview style oral exam at the end of the academic year. However, with the pivot to online teaching, learning and assessment, we were afforded the opportunity to reimagine both pedagogy and assessment throughout uh, the closure of the physical space of the university. The stars aligned somewhat as we were lucky enough to have already begun professional development with Rob Lowney and other colleagues from the Teaching Enhancement Unit. We had started to explore digital assessments through the Enhancing Digital Teaching and Learning programme coordinated by the Irish Universities Association back in 2019. Further workshops were conducted throughout the lockdown to support teaching staff in this new approach to delivery. One of the tools we started to explore early on in the series of workshops was Unicam, which is a web-based video capture platform. We had identified Unicam as a promising tool for, for oral language assessment and saw its benefits from early on. Unicam is linked into our Moodle ecosystem, branded Loop in DCU, a tool that students um, are able to connect to their, to their Google Drive accounts. Unicam allows students to use computer, IP or mobile cameras to capture video easily. As it is connected to their Google Drive, their storage is unlimited and has quite a clean and user friendly interface. There is no need to render video or be concerned about video length or exportation. Simply put, it is a one click submission uh, for video assignments and a stream is a, is a streamlined um, is a streamlined approach. Students are therefore afforded the time to focus on their oral language assessment rather than the technical side of things. In 2020, the pivot to online teaching, while an emergency measure, gave us a chance to apply our new learnings about pedagogy and assessment in online platforms. All language seminars were taking place on Zoom, but this presented us with other challenges. We noted that students were hesitant to speak up in class, and while the breakout breakout rooms gave them the opportunity to practice their target language, we found that it was difficult for them to, um, sorry, difficult for the facilitator to monitor what was happening throughout the session. As students were now learning remotely, they were missing out on important opportunities to, to practice their spoken language in clubs and societies and at Irish language events. We therefore decided to read decided to redevelop written tasks into oral assignments. And I'm going to just talk you through um, an example of that now. So first year students from both primary and post primary programs were asked to watch an Irish language television series available for free on YouTube. In the name of the father with Des Bishop. So this series follows the Irish American comedian Des Bishop as he embarks on a, a journey of language learning and students were asked to watch the show first and then a series of questions were pre recorded on our VLE. Using Unicam students were given the opportunity to discuss the, the program content prompts included describe Des's understanding of the Irish language in Ireland, what are your opinions in relation to the Irish language, and describe the content of the series. This gave students the opportunity to engage with video content, and it allowed them to plan their questions through writing and encouraged them to practice both their oral and mediation skills through the task. This task allows students to reflect on language learning as a journey and to further realise the sociolinguistic challenges of learning Irish. 
Both Aideen and Garudine creatively designed meaningful tasks that were linked to students' professional practice and spoke to curricular content and global citizenship. These summative assessments were rooted in the learning objectives and outcomes of the module. In 2021, the four of us applied for ethical approval from Dublin City University Ethics Committee to evaluate the use of Unicam among staff and students in Fionter and School na Gaeilge. This qualitative research took the form of, um, of anonymous surveys, one for students and one for staff, using Likert scale questions. The statements um, largely drew on the unified theory of acceptance and use of technology, and this theory states that there are a number of factors that influence users to use a particular uh, technology in the future. These factors include performance expectancy, does it to perform in the way that you expect it to, effort expectancy, how much effort does it take to use a tool, and is that effort level reasonable, attitude, what is a user's general attitude towards the tool, facilitating conditions, what support and resources are available, self-efficacy, how well we can trust, um, uh, sorry, how well can a user use the tool themselves, and anxiety, does this tool um, cause any sort of anxiety, worry or fear? The theory proposes additional factors, including age and gender, but these were excluded from the survey instruments because of uh, because they constitute special categories of personal data under GDPR. And these surveys were issued in May and April of 2021. I'm just going to go through some of the results of the survey now, and we're first going to look at the student survey results. So we had 280, uh, sorry, 228 students um, respond to the survey. So that's around a quarter of um, or a 25% response rate. And eight of the teaching team responded to theirs. So we have 50% response rate there. The responses to each statement were averaged across both surveys. And there um, you can see that now on the slide. We asked students about their self-efficacy of the tool and how they used Unicam itself. And they, they were fairly even split in responses. So things such as like using Unicamp to create and submit um, ASV increases my pro productivity. And um, so we do see kind of a, a middling, I suppose, in terms of the opinions and the results um, uh, portrayed. Similarly, we asked students about um, other aspects of um, video assessment and, and asynchronous video assessment. And we noted that they um, did feel quite strongly um, about the place of Unicam um, for themselves. Um, so if you look here, particularly in question 31, um, they believe, a lot of them do believe that uh, there is a place, um, or strongly believe that there is a place for, um, for Unicam as a, as, a, as a useful method to assess language. Um, so that's quite uh, beneficial to us. The teaching team's workflow is a little bit different uh, comparing that to the students, and they do not usually kind of create Unicam videos, they, they, they grade them. So their survey largely relates to accessing um, submitted videos via loop. Their responses show slightly more positivity compared to the students, in particular statements around effort expectancy, performance expectancy, and some of the facilitating conditions received higher uh, than media res responses. We also asked staff generally about the use of video assessment in the future, and much like the students survey, surveyed, staff do see a potential to use asynchronous video assessment when returning to campus. So the use of Unicam um, accelerated the correcting and feedback process generally, and unlike other applications, this streamlined approach, approach um, allows students to focus on the task at hand rather than worry about sending the correct URL to the tutor for correction or about the size of their video files. However, like many of our colleagues around Ireland and abroad, there were issues with students' access um, uh, 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 to broadband with many sharing devices and workspaces with other family members at home. Giving students extensions uh, where this was an issue did release some of the stress around uh, the uploading of the task. We also noted that Moodle groups need to be set up correctly at the beginning of the course delivery, as not doing so created an unnecessary Moodle headache um, that is easily avoided. As we are now heading into our second semester back on campus post lockdown, Unicam has maintained a role in our assessments and it is used primarily for summative assessments. 
However, as we enter a fourth wave of uncertainty, we are equipped to pivot to Unicam in place of a traditional oral exam should the need arise in the future. Thanks for that, uh, Rob. Uh, so Rob's kindly uh, going to take questions um, on behalf of his colleagues there. So does anybody have a, a question for Rob? Either in the chat or you can just uh, unmute yourself with a, a small close-knit group here. Any questions at all? Rob, an obvious question, why use Unicam and not another platform? Um, I think the what really led us to use Unicam was a the streamlined interface itself. Um, one just logs on to Google Chrome, logs in. There's a big red recording button, and the students start recording. So it's very very simple for students to use. And I think then the submission to Moodle made it really easy and efficient on the tutor side of things. Then tutors weren't um, having to worry about getting um, you know cloud links from students or you know students weren't having to upload large video files and tutors not having to download large video files and it's really sped up the the, the the grading process as well so i'd say largely on on, on that front um the, the the streamline and the speed because fundamentally from a technical point of view unicam does what many other applications do you know recording a video recording a screen students could do it in zoom students could do it you know using a, a screen record application on their computer but it was the kind of uploading and submission um uh, piece really that that afforded the most uh, efficiencies and that's why the team chose to go with it thanks and uh, Rob, a lecturer is using uh, Unicam for, for video as well, or is it primarily the students who are? Yeah, no, some lecturers are. So some lecturers have used it for creating um, pre-recorded material for their students, because again, they find it really easy. They kind of go in, they press record and they go, and then they can embed the video onto their loop pages and once. So some, so some lecturers are using it for that. Some students are using it in the way that these ones did for submission of assessments. And then there are other applications for, for, for Unicam as well. Um, I think Sean mentioned at the beginning that it also works with IP cameras. So there's, there's a particular setup in some of our engineering labs where there are some IP cameras set up and students can kind of remote control um, cameras in a, in, in a lab and, and, and view what's going on via, via Unicam. So there's a few different applications uh, to it and it's, it's getting more and more usage within the university. 